two weeks away with this nice weather, and I'm looking forward to a sunny weekend, a beautiful day, and Chad Evans standing by with more on that. Chad? Uh, yeah, and you know, tonight we already have some areas of frost forming, you know, with this dry northeast wind bleeding in that bone dry air and the mainly clear skies. The temperature's fallen almost 20 degrees here at the station since the high today. It's 37 now, it's 38 Monticello, and already 33 at Burlington. Now, as we get into the overnight, the wind will actually start to veer a little bit to the east southeast. So the temperatures, even though they're falling rapidly now, they'll probably start to level off a little bit. It's about 30 at 7 a.m. and then at noon it's 52 and then as the wind turns a little more southerly, that's when the temperature will really start to go up. So we're going to rise 8 degrees between noon and 5, 60 with south-southeast winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And there are the lows tonight. Burlington 25, 30 for the low in Lafayette, 32 pence, about 31 at Fowler, and about 26 at Logansport, 27 up towards Peru and the Chalmers Brookston area, generally, generally uh, around 29 degrees. Tomorrow, a mostly sunny day, a little breezy at times, but still pretty nice. Upper 50s to low 60s, 60 Lafayette, 59 at Monticello, and a warmer still Sunday, but a lot of wind Sunday. Gusts up to 34 miles an hour out of the south and southwest, 66 in Lafayette, 67 Fowler, 65 Monticello, and about 68 at Penn. Skies will become partly cloudy later on in the day, and that spells some changes headed our way. As we get into early next week, a few showers will arrive on Sunday night as this front moves through. Then the front stalls out, so a few little showers in our viewing area, even on Monday at 60. Then on Tuesday, it moves back north as a warm front. It gets pretty warm around here, about 65 to 70. Some showers and storms, and more showers and storms Wednesday as a strong storm system comes through. And it still looks like the severe weather threat, Illinois, southward down to uh, parts of the Gulf Coast, where St. Louis down in New Orleans, the conditions pretty favorable for a pretty big severe weather event. But I still don't, I still just don't see a severe weather threat in our area just yet. We'll keep an eye on it, though. There you have it, a couple showers Sunday night and Monday. Some showers and storms Tuesday. Shower storms Wednesday and warmer, 65 to 70. Then it's a little more seasonal, 51 Thursday, 52 Friday. You know that's a lot cooler, but check out the average high for the next seven days. It's 53. Finally, it'll be a little more like normal for November, Dan. I like the sound of that.